Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today in this Kundalini Yoga Flow. I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated position or if you have a big giant pillow or a bolster pillow, may you grab that and find yourself seated on your bolster. Now that we are in our comfortable seat, may we bring our palms together at heart center. May we slightly and slowly start rubbing our palms together using the friction to create warmth and to stimulate the nerves that are within our hands. Nice slow motions. Noticing how it feels as we rub our palms together in our seated prayer. Nice slow motions. Maybe we can gaze our eyes downward if we choose or close our eyes as we rub our hands together, visualizing whatever thoughts, feelings, emotions come to mind. Eyes closed or gaze downward. Tummy's nice and tight. Chin is slightly up. Our back is straight. Shoulders are up nice and tall. As we go inward here today. Finding still in our hands. Finding pause. Bringing our palms at heart center. Slightly lifting our hands up. Leaning our feet forehead slightly towards our hands and simply noticing how it feels. We'll sit here in this pose for 30 to 60 seconds in silence, using the silence to help us go inward and focus here today. Slightly gazing upwards, aware of the feelings that we are feeling at this present moment. Maybe we can take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, using the breath to help us further relax and soothe our mind and our bodies here today. On our exhale, may we breathe through, may we blow through our mouth. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Releasing our palms, placing them directly on our side, by our side. Shoulders are up nice and tall. Maybe our fingertips can touch the earth. We are simply using the energies and the vibrations from the earth to help us connect here today. Energies of the earth to help us connect with our ancestors if need be. Fill in the vibrations. Eyes are closed. We are going inward. Inhale. Holding our breath. Exhale through the mouth. 
noticing with each exhale how our shoulders go downward away from our ears. Bringing our palms back at heart center, allowing our hands to continue to flow upwards. Passing our third eye chakra, passing our crown chakra. Straight up above our head, palms are together. Finding ourselves in our seated salute. Back goes up nice and tall, shoulders go up, tummy is tight. Back is nice and long. Our shoulders are going up towards our ears as we feel the stretch even deeper. Chin slightly gazed upwards. We are channeling in with the universe. Our palms above our head and our seated salute is our antenna. We are channeling with the universe, feeling the energy, feeling the vibes going in. Knowing what we need to know, getting what we need to get. Our hands are our antenna, our arms are up in the universe, going inward, finding the answers, seeking what needs to be sought, going inward. Finding our quiet, sitting in silence, 30 seconds. Exhale and down to seated prayer. Inhale and back up to seated salute. Exhale and back down to seated prayer. Inhale back up to seated salute, feeling the energies as we flow our arms from one pose to the next. Lowering our hands down to our laps, noticing how we feel, relaxing. Root chakra is activated here heart chakra is activating, throat chakra, our speech, our third eye chakra, our intuition, our knowing is activating, all leading up to that crown chakra, the highest level, the out of body experience. down to our root chakra, our sacral, our solar plexus, our heart chakra, our throat chakra, our third eye chakra, to our crown chakra, visualizing these essential points, energy points within our bodies, though we have many more bringing our palms back together at heart center. Chins going down towards our chest. Thumbs connecting with our chest, our heart chakra. Going inward. Finding our silence. deep inhale, exhale through our mouth, inhale, exhale, going inward, and silence is when the air 
answers come. Chin slightly up away from my clavicle. Slightly looking forward. Eyes are still gazed downwards or closed. Palms are still at heart center. Relaxing our hands downward. Placing our hands in front of us. Palms on our mat. If we have a pillow behind us, lightly pushing it to the side. Positioning your bodies on your yoga mat to feel nice and comfortable. Palms are beneath your shoulders. Keeping our eyes gazed downward or our eyes closed. Dropping our bodies to a cow. Chin slightly up. Gazing up. Eyes are closed, but our chin is up. Gazing up with our head. Keeping our eyes closed. Feeling a slight spinal bend here. Tummy's nice and tight. Exhale to cow. Chin is going towards our clavicle, chest area. Spinal cord goes up in the air. Slightly pushing our buttocks back to our heels, finding ourselves in our hero's pose. Leaning forward in our hero's pose, our forearms come down to the mat, placing our palms on the mat. Eyes are closed. Feeling the energies of the universe here. Ancestors, speak to us. Ancestors, thank you for paving the way for future generations. Feeling the vibes, feeling the energies. Anything that we need to know, we can feel. We already know it in many cases anyway. We already know. Slightly using our palms to push our bodies up. Our chest comes away from our knees. Noticing how this feels. Palms are still on the yoga mat. Slightly bringing our thighs apart just a little. Seeing how that feels. Lifting our bodies up. Using our palms to lift our chest up. Feeling a slight bend here. Noticing how that feels. Bringing our legs even more apart. Finding ourselves going into a wide-legged child's pose. Leaning forward, maybe coming into sleeping hands if we choose, and relaxing down. Our torso is between our legs, our chest heart chakra. Our heart chakra is touching the earth, our yoga mat, and is connecting with the energies of the universe. As we relax in our child's pose, we are going to go in silence and we are going to listen to what the energies tell us. Continuing to relax in our wide legged child's pose. Maybe we can bring our hands forward and maybe we can relax 
our third eye chakra to the yoga mat, noticing how that feels within our bodies. Lightly gazing forward like we are in our puppy pose. Eyes are still gazed downward as we flow our bodies to our table, drop into our cow, exhale into our cat, positioning our body in our hard pose. That is when we go on top of our head slightly we are going to apply pressure to the top of our head, the crown of our head, connecting our crown chakra to the earth, flowing onto our heart holes. Here we go. May we slightly come up on our forearms and our heart pose. Noticing how we feel, being aware of the present moment and the feelings that we are feeling within, all without judgment. Pushing our bodies up to downward facing dog. Building strength here, building endurance here, and our downward facing dog. Our tummy is nice and tight. Eyes are still gaze downward or closed. Filling our power, filling our strength within and our downward facing dog. Maybe flowing up to our high plank. Coming down to our cobra or chaturanga. Coming back to our hero's pose. Relaxing in our hero's pose. Placing our palms on the earth. Connecting our palms. Crossing our legs, finding ourselves back in a seated pose. Maybe we're in an easy seat this time. We are not on a bolster. We are sitting directly on the earth. Root chakra is connected to the earth. We are here. Eyes are still closed, going inward. Closing our eyes to completely see. Closing our eyes to feel the energy and the vibrations. Closing our eyes so we can know. Relaxing in our easy seat. Lotus seat. Bringing our palms back at heart center. Chin slightly up. Tummy is tight.
listening, feeling, knowing. Listening, feeling. Keeping our eyes gazed down or our eyes closed. The power is within. The answers are within. We know what we need to do. We know what is. We already know. To take ourselves to new levels, to get ourselves from place to place, from level to level, we hold that power in that key. We do what we need to do as we always do, to take ourselves to next levels. People will help us and guide us, but they have to see something within us first. First, in order to. So once again, that power is within. Yes, people may sign you, may give you a job, but they will not unless they see something within you. That's why I say the power is within. You and you alone hold the key. The power of attraction is real. You hold the power. Palms are still together at heart center. Knowing. Feeling. Intuition. Is everything. Often in life, we look for others to save us, looking for people to be our savior. We are our own savior. I think we all remember this from the classic The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, set on that path on the yellow brick road. She met some great friends along the way. They even made it to the wizard, the great eyes. But no one could help her but herself. All the long, she's searching and walking that path, looking for a way. And all she had to do was click her red slippers three times, and she was home. Click your red slippers three times, and you shall find home. Whatever home may be. Whenever you want to make a change, whenever you want to see, experience, know, learn, whatever it may be, remember we, we alone hold that power. It is intrinsic. It comes from within. Peace and blessings be to you. Keeping our hands at heart center. May we sit and meditate. The feelings that we feel, the thoughts that we are having, the intuitions that are coming to us, may we let it linger within as we sit in silence, understanding that these are all thoughts and feelings that we may have and experience. We will not judge. We are simply being, being aware. Once again, we will not judge. We are simply being aware of what's going on within. And we know that we hold the power. Go in inward. Palms at heart center. Chest is up. Heart chakra is open. Back is straight. Shoulders are nice and tall.
ourselves any cow feast. If we have a blanket, may we cover up with that blanket, using a blanket to help us go inward, using a blanket to give us comfort and warmth, using a blanket to give us strength and power, going inward, wrapping ourselves up in our blanket. Our blanket is our metamorphosis. We just wrapped ourselves up in our cocoon. Though we may remove this blanket, we know that the blanket is always there and we are growing, we are learning, and we are becoming more every day. And every day we will grow. For we are in our metamorphosis. So we wrap ourselves in our blankets whenever we can. And when we are not in our blankets, we are still in our blankets mentally. We know it's an invisible blanket there. We are in our metamorphosis. Our cocoon. This caterpillar is becoming a butterfly. I once was blind, but now I see. And the thing about seeing and being awakened is there's no turning back. Palms together at heart center. I would like to thank you for allowing me to be with you here today. I would like to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today. For it truly was a pleasure and I am grateful and thankful. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects light in you. Namaste. Peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I invite you to continue to meditate and relax after the practice if you choose. Or whenever you feel as though you need to go inward, remember, this is a practice and a technique that we can do by ourselves. We don't need anyone to guide us because we can do it whenever we want at our own time. Though being with people is a beautiful thing. As long as we know that we don't have to. Once again, namaste and peace and blessings be to you. Have a great evening. I am Sister Moon and I'll see you next time.